it's my pleasure to uh, welcome uh, Professor Lori Glimcher, who's the CEO of Dana Farber and a, a true fighter in the in in the anti-cancer realm, and and someone who's a real legend in the field. And it's it's an honor to um, to welcome Dr. Glimcher as part of the new Dana Farber Center at FICE. And I think it's a it's a wonderful um, addition to the network. It's really incredible. I think that. I'd love to talk to you a little bit about this and, and talk a little bit about how this collaboration might further the goals of Dana-Farber, pushing forward the, the work that you've done in the field and, and, and just welcome, thank you. It's really a pleasure and we're, we're thrilled to be a full member of PICE. I know all of the centers are dedicated to reducing the burden of cancer and we believe that that really requires uh, collaboration rather than competition. We're Every day when I come in, I walk by the Jimmy Fund Clinic, treating small people, people like my grandchildren. Um, and they're our top priority. So whatever we can do to reduce the burden of cancer and to at some point end cancer, um, that's where we, we wanna be. And we, I, I think that that is the mission of PICE. If you work together, we're gonna go faster. And there are so many resources at Pisces that we can now tap into that I think this will accelerate the fabulous work that each of the institutions is doing. How do you envision this collaboration between uh, Parker Institute and Dana-Farber and, and the, the new uh, Parker Institute at Dana-Farber will really advance uh, these cancer immunotherapies? How do you see that moving forward? And and uh, how, what, you're, what are you most excited about? There's no barrier between fundamental science, translational science, and clinical Absolutely. work. Um, that's, I've never seen that anywhere else. And I think that's a big help to us. And in a way, that's what's happening at PICE, right? Right. It's that we're sharing all of this together. We've gotten clinicians involved as well. I mean, we do 1,100 clinical trials a year. <sighs> Dana Farber and, and um, you know, <laughs> on the backside of every one of those trials, this is one thing that I totally appreciate is on the backside of every one of those clinical trials is deep scientific insight. Like we talked about with Coley, you know, making real observations on the outcomes of patients and asking those fundamental questions. Why did one person respond and why did someone else not respond? What is the mechanism of resistance that we can tackle next and, and, and target? And that's what we hope certainly the Pisces Network will bring to the table because I think each of our centers brings a different a different flavor. You, know, you guys are clearly an amazing translation unit, but we've got centers like, like the Gladstone, for instance, which is very technology focused, next generation technology, give us that insight. And to break the barriers down, Pisces goal really is to break the barriers down between these different institutions and their different focuses and expertise and combine all of it toward that one mission of, you know, curing cancer. And that's this is, uh, we're tremendously excited to, to have you on board and to, to, to really um, not just and to leverage the strengths that you just talked about, you know, the number of clinical trials, the, the passion of the physicians that are there. It's incredible. Well, you know, what Pisces has allowed us all to do is to take risks. And that, I think, is the whole tenor. That is the whole atmosphere at Pisces. We're all going to take risks. You know, look, we can shoot for the moon. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if we end up in the stars, that's pretty good, too. <laughs> and that's where that's where. Pisces really is just an enormous resource and help for us. In addition to the to the 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 willingness to share everything that we know and that we found out. One of the things we talk about at Pisces, we don't bet on projects, we bet on people. We bet on the people that are there and the ideas that they're going to come up with when they're riding their bike or they're just talking amongst each other, that suddenly that idea needs to get funded today, not not a year from now, two years from now not get criticized because it's too ambitious. And we really need to, to take these shots on goal. And this is, this is part of this Pisces network along with the, the, the heart and soul of this collaboration engine. It's, uh, it's fantastic. So we hugely value the, the partnership. What kind of impact do you think that bringing Dana-Farber on board and, and joining the network, what kind of impact do you think you guys are gonna have uh, moving forward in the, in the years to come? Well, I think it's gonna be tremendous. It's wonderful to have all the uh, intelligence and all the accomplishments yeah. of our colleagues at other at the other Pisces institutions, yeah. um, who you know we can work together with them. 
That's right. And in fact, Eric Smith, who's joined us about a year ago, was trained at Memorial Sloan Kettering. Perfect. And and I just I just love this whole collaborative environment because you know what what is this when it comes down to it? Mm -hmm. Honestly, what are we? What is our mission? Our mission is very very strong at Dana Farber, and it's very very strong. I think for all of the Pisces institutions, we're trying to get rid of cancer. We all have had friends and family who have died from cancer. When you think that two out of every five people will experience cancer in their lifetime, it's incredible. one out of every two men, one out of every three women, that's staggering. Yeah. This is the major cause of death between the age of 45 and 65. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to surpass cardiovascular disease for those older than 65. It's, it's, it's creeping up there. And, and we hope to push this forward in the years to come. I can say that a lot of things you talked about is the direction of Pisces. We wanna continue funding things like phase one trials, investigator initiated trials, so that the, the clinical operations of Pisces are better connected with the funded research that's going on outside the network. And that's, that's what we're pushing here internally. And, and we really can't wait to work with you and work with Dana-Farber in the years to come to, to just make that a reality. Well, we're excited. It's going to be great, Laurie. It's going to be great. We're delighted to be a full member at Pisces. And um, thank you so much for all that you do, John. Yeah, thanks. The team does as well.